With the main guts of the Techno ET48 2.0 completed, front and rear ends, center differential, and also the shocks in the previous kit bags, it's time to start mounting some final pieces to the main chassis so that we can begin installing the electronics. On we go with bag N. Bag N contains a range of parts for this vehicle, mainly all plastic in construction. We have the servo and ESC mount, a battery strap along with the battery tray, a radio receiver tray, side guards, and obviously all the hardware to get everything mounted. We'll also need our final aluminum piece, the motor mount. Although we have mainly plastic parts here, you will need some thread lock, so keep that handy. With that said, let's get started with the main servo and ESC tray. We'll get the entire kit completed first and I'll be installing electronics later. So we'll go ahead and screw our 14mm cap head screws along with 8mm washers into each corner of the servo housing. I'll keep things loose here as obviously they'll be coming back out when installing the servo but it's a good idea to get the screws in place and ready. With that done place the tray down onto the chassis and flip the chassis over to screw in four 14mm flathead screws into each corner of the servo housing. Before flipping back over and securing the ESC tray with two 6mm button head screws. These are going into a metal chassis so a little dab of thread lock is recommended. Next we'll get the receiver tray into position by the centre differential at the rear. And this is also secured from below with two 14mm flathead screws. Again, I'll be installing my receiver after the build is complete, so I'll place the receiver cover on top and loosely fit with three 8mm button head screws. Notice the three screw holes in the receiver cover. These are for installing a transponder to the top of the receiver if you wish to do so. If not, you can either leave these as is or insert the three more 18mm button head screws if you prefer. That way, should you wish to add a transponder later, you have the screws there in place and ready to go. Now we'll move to the other side and get the battery tray installed, starting with the side mounts, one mounting to each side with two 14mm flathead screws going into the side of each mount. After which we can feed our strap through the battery mounts and get these screwed into place, again from beneath the chassis with 12mm flathead screws up front and two at the rear. With the battery mount down, we'll move on to the side guards. The first mounting to the left side of the buggy, with the four 8mm button head screws feeding in from the top here, so add some thread lock as we're going into metal. After which we'll repeat the same on the right side of the vehicle too. Finally, all that's left is the motor mount. Again, I'll be adding my motor after the build is complete. So I'm just getting the motor mount into position here and it's held in place with two 15mm flathead screws complete with a countersunk washer. Normally, you tighten these right down with some thread lock, although again, I'm installing loosely until I have my motor in place. And that brings us to the end of kit bag N. All of our mounts and trays are installed now, ready for electronics to be added all of which I'll be doing once I have the build complete. For now, it's down to the last two bags, with bag O being a relatively small and straightforward addition. 